we're in Halbert, Iowa, and we're trying to find my, my great grandpa George's brother, Henry, owned a grocery store. It was a grocery and hardware store in Halber. And the reason that's significant is because, again, the revenuers would come to town and they would try and figure out who was buying all the sugar. Fortunately for my great grandpa George, no matter how much money Henry was offered, who owned the grocery store, he was never going to tell that he was giving his brother sugar. So he, he was. My grandpa George had it, he was in the clear that way that, where the revenuers weren't going to find out that he was buying a bunch of sugar. This is what we stopped and asked some guys in town and said, do you know what the grocery store used to be? Yeah. And this is what they... And they said that this, they thought this used to be the grocery store and the hardware store. But it looks like... You're right, it looks new, but it could just be a facade, you know? Yeah, they, they could have just put, they could have just put the front on. We should ask, it, is it open? Yeah. The story has it that Henry used to own the grocery store in town, and the revenuers would come to town trying to figure out who was buying all the sugar. And whoever was buying the sugar, that's who was brewing the Templeton rye. Well, fortunately for my great grandpa George, his brother owned the grocery store and wasn't about to give up the fact that he was selling uh, sugar to his own brother. I'm sure not. So, and I don't know how the story ends. I don't know if he ended up giving up other names. But I know the revenuers um, would either force them and sometimes offer to pay them to give give up who was buying the sugar. Okay. <laughs> but but my grandpa was lucky. Okay, and Henry's brother Lawrence owned the hardware store in town that we bought from him. Okay. And <laughs> then moved over here to bought the building from Henry. Okay. <laughs> either in the magazine rack. Uh, it's so dark yeah. in here. There's way too god dang many questions. Somebody, we don't know who, but somebody built, built a still. And it was it this building or a different building? It was in this building. Yeah. This building. It's hard to see, but there it is. It doesn't focus quite that close. Our calls. <laughs> and are they all checked off? Oh no. <laughs> Just the ones that are scribbled out. When do you think you're going to get to the end there? Well, if we ever get to the end, that's probably bad news. We'll have to lock the door. And who's at the top of the list? Is it Dave on it? No. no. So years back, back in, in 1969, I was living at uh, 119 South Whitney. Vic Schaefer was the renter that I and Marie and my newborn son were... That's where we were renting the building while I went overseas. Okay. Yeah, I have a note to call Mary, too. Well, one evening, Vic Schaefer asked me to come over, you know, because I was getting ready to leave. And he says, okay. Okay. he asked me, Did, have you ever had Templeton rye? I says, no, I've never tasted this stuff. So, okay, all of a sudden, he comes out with a shot glass, you know. Well, it was probably a little bigger than a shot glass, you know. Boy, he throws that sucker down and didn't blink an eye and... I uh, thought, well, okay, I threw it down, and I just kind of got it in my mouth, and thought, I had to get air, I opened my mouth, and I think the whole thing evaporated. But that was my only sample of the original Templeton rye. Now, whether... I don't know if it was a good batch or not, but... Oh, hell no, because I'm not a whiskey drinker anyway, and I'm still not. Shane Smith from Baird, Iowa, and uh, my mother was an ice shine. Her... Her dad, Jerry Eyshide, grew up in Halber on George Eyshide's farm. George would be my great-grandfather, and uh, him and his boys used to brew or distill Templeton rye out there on the farm, which we saw earlier today. Um, you know, it was just like one of those things like you've, you've heard about the, during the Great Depression where times were tough, it was either lose the farm or start distilling whiskey. And so that's what they did, and they sold Templeton Rye. <laughs> <laughs>